Welcome to Art and a Story. My name is Mary, and I am at the Yellowstone Art Museum. And today's story is called The Girl Who Loved Wild Horses by Paul Goebel. And today's piece of art is Levina Horses, a painting by Theodore Waddell. So let's read the story. The Girl Who Loved Wild Horses. The people were always moving from place to place, following the herds of buffalo. They had many horses to carry the teepees and all their belongings. They trained their fastest horses to hunt the buffalo. And you see here, the horses and the people and the buffalo or the bison. There was a girl in the village who loved horses. She would often get up at daybreak when the birds were singing about the rising sun. She led the horses to drink at the river. She spoke softly and they followed. People noticed that she understood horses in a special way. She knew which grass they liked best and where to find them shelter from the winter blizzards. If a horse was hurt, she looked after it. And here she is with the horses. Every day when she had helped her mother carry water and collect firewood, she would run off to be with the horses. She stayed with them in the meadows, but was careful never to go beyond sight of home. One hot day when the sun was overhead, she felt sleepy. She spread her blanket and lay down. It was nice to hear the horses eating and moving slowly among the flowers, and soon she fell asleep. And here she is sleeping with the horses, but she's in sight of her home. And every tribe has a different teepee. So do you know which tribe these teepees are from? So a faint rumble of distant thunder did not waken her. Angry clouds began to roll out across the sky with lightning flashing in the darkness beneath. But the fresh breeze and scent of rain made her sleep more soundly, even though the storm is coming in. Let's see what happens next. Suddenly, there was a flash of lightning and a crash and rumbling which shook the earth. The girl leapt to her feet in fright. Everything was awake. Horses were rearing up on their hind legs and snorting in terror. She grabbed a horse's mane and jumped on his back. And here is the storm. Here are the horses and even the prairie dogs. And she jumps on the horse's back. Ooh, in an instant, the herd was galloping away like the wind. She called to the horses to stop, but her voice was lost in the thunder. Nothing could stop them. She hugged her horse's neck with her fingers twisted into his mane. She clung on, afraid of falling under the drumming hooves. And here's everybody going the same way. And there she is, holding on tight. Ooh. The horses galloped faster and faster, pursued by the thunder and lightning. They swept like a brown flood across the hills and through valleys. Fear drove them on and on, leaving their familiar grazing grounds far behind. At last, the storm disappeared over the horizon. The tired horses slowed and then stopped and they rested. Stars came out and the moon shone over the hills. The girl had never seen a moon like that before and she knew they were lost. And here she is and it looks so different than where she was before. She and the horses are lost. 
The next morning, she was wakened by a loud neighing. A beautiful spotted stallion was prancing to and fro in front of her, stamping his hooves and shaking his mane. He was strong and proud and more handsome than any horse she had ever dreamed of. And he told her that he was the leader of all the wild horses who roamed the hills. He welcomed her to live with them. She was glad and all her horses lifted their heads and neighed joyfully, happy to be free with the wild horses. And here's the stallion. And I bet a lot of you notice there's a rainbow here too. And there she is. Oh, let's see what happens. The people searched everywhere for the girl and the vanished horses, but they were nowhere to be found. But a year later, a whole year. A year later, two hunters rode into the hills where the wild horses lived. And when they climbed a hill and looked over the top, they saw the wild horses led by the beautiful spotted stallion. And beside him rode the girl leading a colt. They called out to her and she waved back, but the stallion quickly drove her away with all his horses. Hmm. So there she goes with her colt and there's the stallion and the hunters who she waved to. The hunters galloped home and told what they had seen. The men mounted their fastest horses and set out at once. It was a long chase. The stallion defended the girl and the colt. He circled round and round them so that the riders could not get near. They tried to catch him with ropes, but he dodged them. He had no fear. His eyes shone like cold stars. He snorted and his hooves struck as fast as lightning. The riders admired his courage. They might never have caught the girl except her horse stumbled and she fell. Ooh. Well, she was glad to see her parents, and they thought she would be happy to be home again. But they soon saw she was sad and missed the colt and the wild horses. Each evening as the sun went down, people would hear the stallion neighing sadly from the hilltop above the village, calling for her to come back. And there above the village on the hilltop is the stallion calling for her. The days passed. Her parents knew the girl was lonely. She became ill and the doctors could do nothing to help her. They asked what would make her well again. I love to run with the wild horses, she answered. They are my relatives. If you let me go back to them, I shall be happy forevermore. Her parents loved her and they agreed that she should go back to live with the wild horses. They gave her a beautiful dress and the best horse in the village to ride. The spotted stallion led his wild horses down from the hills. The people gave them fine things to wear, colorful blankets and decorated saddles. They painted designs on their bodies and tied eagle feathers and ribbons in their manes and tails. And in return, the girl gave the colt to her parents and everyone was joyful. And here are the people, here are the horses, the wild horses at her home. Once again, the girl rode beside the spotted stallion. They were proud and happy to be together, but she did not forget her people. Each year she would come back and she always brought her parents a colt. And here she is with a colt. And then one year she did not return and was never seen again by the people. But when hunters next saw the wild horses, there galloped beside the mighty stallion, a beautiful mare. 
with a mane and tail floating like wispy clouds about her. They said the girl had surely become one of the wild horses at last. Today, we are still glad to remember that we have relatives among the horse people. And it gives us joy to see the wild horses running free and our thoughts fly with them. And here's the stallion and here is the mare and they're together. So now we're at the end of the story, and if you look at the art, we have a big circle here on the last page of what we read, and we have this circle here in the painting of Levina horses. And people always ask us, what does the circle mean? And we don't know. We'd have to ask the artist, or we have to ask ourselves what it means to us. And so at the very end of this book, there are two songs about horses. And while I read you the songs, take a look at this painting and ask yourself, are these wild horses? Are they not? How would we know? Let's hear these two songs. First, we have a Navajo song about his horse. My horse has a hoof like striped agate. His fetlock is like a fine eagle plume. His legs are like quick lightning. My horse's body is like an eagle plumed arrow. My horse has a tail like a trailing black cloud. His mane is made of short rainbows. My horse's ears are made of round corn. My horse's eyes are made of big stars. My horse's teeth are made of white shell. The long rainbow is in his mouth for a bridle, and with it, I guide him. And now, Black Elk and Oglala Sioux had a dream in which he heard a stallion sing a song. My horses prancing, they are coming. My horses neighing, they are coming. Prancing, they are coming. All over the universe they come. They will dance, and you may behold them. A horse nation, they will dance. May you behold them. So thanks for coming to Art and a Story, and we will see you next time with a new book and a new piece of art.